Okay, now that we have our color studies ready, we can go ahead and create the final art. Now I'm using an A5 sheet of paper that's by Claire Fontaine. It's a mixed media type of paper that is 115 pounds in thickness. And it's a cold press paper wherein one side is heavily textured and the flip side is a little more smooth. And so I went ahead and drew our illustration on that side, the smoother side, in a cleaner version of our thumbnails and a little bit more detailed version. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of them and color them in using our custom color palette. Are you ready? Let's get started. Yeah. We leave some white area there because she's a combination of orange and white. Now, let's color in the background. Start from the tip with the side of the pencil. And as you go lower, you get thicker with your strokes. A little flatter on the side. Yeah, being mindful not to go outside of the margin. And then we'll give it some triangular trees. Next to it, like that. Oh, we forgot this one. Right, and then looking a little too orangey, so we're going to add some pink bushes there. Maybe some here. No, it's too, too symmetrical. I need to vary it a little bit. Alright, so we'll draw in the background, this middle ground. Remember, we're gonna do distant trees, triangular distant trees. So, What we'll do first is lay in the the terrain, hatching for the terrain. So similar to what we did here, but using this color. So we'll run through the terrain like this. And you're free to tilt your paper so that you don't have to tilt your hand, the angle of in which your hand is drawing and laying in the parallel lines. So all right, and then we'll go with the red orange, making sure our pencil tip is very sharp because we're drawing something far away. Now we need to make this look harmonious, so we add a third color, like each color is a note that you play on your musical instrument. So, in a similar way, it's like we're playing a chord, three notes together, three colors together. You look like they're singing together. There we go, and maybe we can show through some color here. This suggests that the fog is like billowing, something like that. And so that's it for this upper half of our illustration. Let's color in this little land bank here. Oops. Same, same way as we colored this one, so hatching like that. 
sorry, the girl hatching it, but also making the lower portion just a little bit darker. Something like that. And then we can go off to the reflections in the water. So with the trees, we'll just follow the basic shape, but we'll color them in in a zigzag motion, all of them, because they are supposed to suggest ripples in the water. So we have to be mindful about the, the wake in the water that our wolf has made here so we need to avoid coloring through that trail in the water. Sometimes I think I should add just a little bit more detail in there. Now since this is a bigger, bigger artwork I use instead of pencils I use this wax pastel by Caran Dash as well to normally I would use the burnt sienna pencil to draw the outline but since I can achieve thicker lines with just one stroke with this wax pencil I'm using this to lay in the borders it's the exact same color code so this is 069 burnt sienna this is also 069 Burnt Sienna. Yeah, if we had drawn on this paper, this is cold press, there's more texture in here. Colored pencils look better on smooth paper because they already have a grainy look to them. Uh, okay. Are we happy with this? I think I want to add some reflection of the sky.